Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com, where we explore groundbreaking innovations in clean energy and sustainability. Today, we'll dive into a critical topic in hydrogen energy, the comparison between liquid hydrogen and solid hydrogen for energy storage. Both forms have unique advantages and challenges that make them suitable for different applications. Let's explore how they stack up against each other and their implications for a sustainable future. Hydrogen is a highly versatile energy carrier, prized for its potential to store and transport clean energy. Its lightness, abundance, and energy density make it a cornerstone of the renewable energy transition. But storing hydrogen efficiently has always been a challenge. Liquid hydrogen and solid hydrogen represent two advanced storage methods that push the boundaries of technology. Each comes with distinct characteristics shaped by temperature, pressure, and material science. Liquid hydrogen is formed by cooling gaseous hydrogen to temperatures below minus 253 degrees Celsius, minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit, just above its boiling point. This cryogenic process allows hydrogen to be stored in a highly dense liquid form, which is widely used in applications like rocket propulsion, hydrogen fuel cells, and industrial processes. Liquid hydrogen offers the advantage of higher energy density compared to its gaseous counterpart, enabling larger quantities of hydrogen to be stored in smaller volumes. This makes it ideal for transport and large-scale storage, especially for industries requiring a steady hydrogen supply. Liquid hydrogen's role in space exploration is a prime example of its utility. NASA has long used liquid hydrogen as a rocket propellant due to its high energy-to-weight ratio. In combination with liquid oxygen, it provides the thrust needed to escape Earth's gravity. The ability to store and transport large amounts of hydrogen in a relatively compact form makes it indispensable for space missions. Furthermore, liquid hydrogen is being explored for powering next-generation aircraft and ships, promising a future of zero-emission transportation. In contrast, solid hydrogen is achieved by cooling hydrogen even further, to temperatures below minus 259 degrees Celsius, minus 434 degrees Fahrenheit, or by applying extreme pressures to condense it into a crystalline or metallic form. Solid hydrogen is still largely in the experimental stage but has captured significant attention for its potential as a compact and stable energy storage medium. Its crystalline structure can store hydrogen with exceptional density, opening new doors for applications in space exploration, renewable energy grids, and advanced material sciences. The journey to solid hydrogen is as intriguing as the substance itself. Beyond its solid crystalline form, hydrogen is theorized to transition into metallic hydrogen under pressures exceeding several million atmospheres. Metallic hydrogen is predicted to have extraordinary properties, such as superconductivity and unparalleled energy density, making it a potential game-changer for energy storage and advanced technologies. While the creation of metallic hydrogen remains a challenge, ongoing research continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. When comparing the two, energy density becomes a pivotal factor. Liquid hydrogen, while already denser than gaseous hydrogen, still faces challenges with boil-off, a gradual loss of hydrogen due to warming and evaporation during storage or transport. This requires constant cryogenic cooling, which consumes energy and adds complexity to infrastructure. Solid hydrogen, on the other hand, eliminates the issue of boil-off, as it remains stable under ultra-low temperatures and specific pressures. This stability could make solid hydrogen more efficient for long-term storage, especially in environments where minimizing energy loss is critical. Solid hydrogen also holds promise for renewable energy storage. As the world increasingly relies on solar and wind energy, there is a growing need for efficient ways to store excess energy. Solid hydrogen, with its compact form and stability, could serve as a solution for large-scale, long-duration energy storage. It could enable renewable energy grids to store surplus electricity during periods of high production and release it when demand spikes. This would address one of the biggest challenges in renewable energy, intermittency. However, solid hydrogen is not without its challenges. 
achieving and maintaining the extreme conditions required for solid hydrogen, whether through cryogenics or high-pressure containment, demands cutting-edge technology and significant energy input. Additionally, extracting usable hydrogen from its solid state involves complex phase transition processes, adding further technical hurdles. These factors currently limit its practical applications to highly specialized fields, such as space exploration or experimental energy storage systems. In terms of scalability and infrastructure, liquid hydrogen has a clear edge. Its technology is well established, with cryogenic storage tanks and transport systems already in use. This makes liquid hydrogen a viable option for powering fuel cell vehicles, storing renewable energy, and supporting industrial processes. Liquid hydrogen is also finding applications in hydrogen refueling stations, which are crucial for the growth of hydrogen-powered vehicles. These stations rely on liquid hydrogen's compactness and ease of transport to efficiently store and distribute fuel. Solid hydrogen, on the other hand, remains in the research and development phase, with no widespread infrastructure to support its use. The energy-intensive process of creating solid hydrogen and the lack of cost-effective technologies for large-scale production currently limit its feasibility. However, as material science and cryogenic technologies advance, the gap between experimental and practical applications could narrow. Cost is another key consideration. The cryogenic systems for liquid hydrogen storage, while advanced, are expensive and energy-intensive. However, these costs are decreasing with technological advancements and economies of scale. Solid hydrogen, requiring even more extreme conditions, is currently more expensive to produce and store, making it less economically viable for widespread adoption. Despite these challenges, both forms of hydrogen storage have promising potential for future applications. Liquid hydrogen's established infrastructure and versatility make it a cornerstone for today's hydrogen economy. Meanwhile, solid hydrogen's unparalleled density and stability could revolutionize energy storage once its technological and economic barriers are overcome. Understanding the trade-offs between liquid and solid hydrogen is essential as we design the energy systems of the future. While liquid hydrogen is well suited for near-term applications, solid hydrogen could become a game-changer for long-term, compact energy storage needs. As research and innovation continue, these two storage methods may complement each other, supporting diverse energy applications across industries. Hydrogen's role in a sustainable energy future cannot be overstated. Its versatility as an energy carrier and its potential to integrate with renewable sources make it a vital component of the global transition to cleaner energy. Whether as liquid hydrogen fueling rockets or solid hydrogen stabilizing energy grids, this element offers solutions that address some of the most pressing challenges in energy storage and distribution. At ReneEnergy.com, we're committed to educating and empowering individuals and businesses to harness the power of clean energy. Explore our green hydrogen development and financing course to learn more about hydrogen technologies, their life cycle, and their applications in real-world projects. Our course provides the tools and insights needed to navigate the evolving hydrogen economy, helping you unlock the potential of this versatile element. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of liquid and solid hydrogen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest in clean energy and sustainability. Together, we can drive the transition to a greener tomorrow. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.